She makes me smile She thinks the way I think That girl Makes me want to be better That girl Makes me want to be a better man Okay, so this is a quick request. Um, this is How to Play Better Man by Paolo Nettini. And um, we have a chord sheet for this as well. But we're going for um, this strange way to play a G chord. So the way I've always taught a G chord on my channel is a big kind of four finger no Gallagher G or a three finger G as it is sort of standardly done. Um, the way he plays it is with his three weaker fingers, so without his first finger. And you basically have to swap where you are in a normal G for two, three, and four. So play it like this. And he does this so that he can add a C note at the first fret of the second string. So um, that's how he plays the main riff. And um, you can think of this G as the absolute best way to get from a G to a C, but it does use your three weaker fingers, so it is, it is very new. Specifically, that little finger is going to get quite a lot of use out of this. Um, but if you can get used to that G, the riff's quite simple, because you're just placing down your first finger, and all the other chords mean there are kind of very little changes um, for that first finger. So we have a first finger anchor which will have helped us all back in the early days of just learning two or three chords, right? So uh, a chord sequence for the verse is pretty standard all the way through. It's the same. It is this G major for two bars, then a D7 which is this chord here. First finger where it was with that C middle finger second fret above, third finger second fret below, and you can see it's kind of an inverted D chord like this. So there's a D, sort of this note has moved to here, so D7. A minor 7 next, and that's keep your first finger where it is and just move your middle finger up one string. Back to the D7, and then back to this G. And when you go from the D7 to the G, the best way to change is to try and use that first finger as your anchor. Keep your first finger down, move the other three, and then you can take your first finger off if it isn't needed. So a G for two bars. D7 for two bars. A minor seven for one bar. Back to D7 for one bar. And the G for two bars. When you see on the chord sequence G slash C, it means we're still on a G chord, so it is two bars of a G, but we're placing down that first finger. To play part of the riff, which I'll be covering in a second. So normal G chord, G slash C with your first finger down. That repeats again for the second verse, and it's always verse, verse. It's exactly the same the second time. Two bars of G, two bars of C. I'm looking at the chord sequence on my screen here. Um, and then we have A minor 7, again, for your chorus. So your chorus, A minor 7 for two bars to a G. Makes me want to be better. Should she see A minor, C fit for one bar, D7 for one bar, and then the G chord. So every chord in this song is usually for two bars, but when it comes to the A minor D7 bit, 
that's always just one bar. One bar of A minus 7, one bar of D7 when they come after each other. Other than that, everything's two bars. And verse, verse, chorus, verse, verse, chorus. Um, there's a little change in the middle, but verse, verse, chorus, okay? So if you follow that chord sheet exactly like that, shouldn't have too much problems. Um, strumming pattern to try and get this riff, which is probably the reason you like the feel of this song. I mean, it might be a particular favourite of yours, like for other reasons, but the feel of it is nice, relaxed acoustic that a lot of people want to be able to play. So if I just give you a demo of the riff. We have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Now, as, as is the key for every strumming pattern that you ever, ever do, the key is to keep your hand moving. And your hand is moving at a rate of the eight sol down strums. One and two and three and four and. If we catch those up strums as well, one and do the ups. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. We're on a 16 strumming pattern. If you've never done a 16 strumming pattern before, we're going to have to start hitting every one of those strums to get used to it. Just hit that G chord. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Every down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. Play along with me. Down up, 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 down up. That's the B underlined the pulse. So you have four down, up, down, up, one, two, three, four per beat in a 16 strumming pattern. Gives you 16 pulses in a bar, 16 strums in a bar. And 16 strumming. And then you just choose to catch out of that movement or motion, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And all these little false strums that I'm doing are all so crucial to be able to really nail that. Um, we also, so definitely get used to doing that on a G chord, first of all, but that's one bar of it as well. So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. When it repeats again, that would be for your two bars of G for your chord sequence. Um, if you want to hammer on or just place down this first finger, up, up, down, up, down. do it after those up, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. And as long as it's on the up, the up, or the down of, of that middle section, middle of your strumming pattern, middle of the bar. He plays around with where he puts it down. He, he changes it quite a bit throughout the song. Um, what else do we have? <clears throat> For the R's section, um, which is your middle eight, it's exactly the same chord sequence for the verse. So that's just written as instrumental on the chord sequence itself, on the chord sheet. Um, and there should be nothing else that really gives you any, any trouble if you can do those things. So, so just to finish up, let's have a quick play through together and I will shout out the chords as we're kind of going through. I'm just going to play on the beat to make sure you know how to you know, navigate through your chord sequence and that you can keep up with bars and beats. And if you want to have a go with that strumming pattern I've just demoed, feel free to stick that in with this demo. Um, there's also an excellent, like the main video for this song really has a camera on in the whole time and you'll be able to see exactly what chord is on playing it this way. So um, very useful for you. Let's just uh, have a quick play through now. So she makes me smile. We start with our G chord on smile. In one, two, three, she makes me smile. Two, three, four, one, two. To D7, first finger. One, two, three, 
four. One, two, three. A minor seven, just your first two fingers. To D seven. To your G chord, using your first finger anchor. Makes me wanna be better. Second verse two. Took her down Bleaker Street. Two, three, to D7. So she drank the way I drink. One, two, three, A minor seven. To D7. And back to G. To the chorus, A minor seven, three, four, A minor seven. That girl. Makes me wanna be a better man. To the G. A bar of each for A minor seven and D seven. A minor seven to D seven and a G. Adding that in riffing wherever it feels appropriate. And essentially, what we've just done there happens three times. And there's, there's a double chorus at the end, but that's the structure of the whole song. Verse, verse, chorus, verse, verse, chorus, verse, verse, chorus, chorus. And that will get you through the whole thing. So I hope that helps you. Thanks for doing this request. Anyone else that's watching this video, please subscribe if you like what I do, and you'll be able to make your own request if you click the links below the, in the description of this video. I'm sure I'll see you all again. Bye for now. Take care of yourselves.